Good morning, everyone. Today, our lecture, it will be about tourism and hospitality operation management. In the first lecture, we are going to cover the following. It's really important at the beginning, before we enter to explain about the operation management, it's really important to understand the meaning of the tourism, what is the definition of tourism, according to UNWTO, that's been World Tourism Organization and Hospitality Management. So the learning outcome for the first lecture, it will be to understand the definition of tourism and hospitality management, as well, it's really important to understand the different types of tourism and hospitality, because we don't have only one type of tourism but we have several types of tourism which we are going to explain briefly about it before we move on to the second lecture to explain more about the operation management of the tourism and the hospitality so the learning outcome first as i mentioned we are going to explain the definition of tourism and hospitality management what are the different types of tourism and hospitality as well, it's really important to understand the component of tourism and hospitality management. What are the component or what are the element of tourism and hospitality management? So at the beginning, we are going to explain the definition of tourism to understand the concept of tourism and hospitality management. So introduction to tourism management, it will be the first topic for our first lecture. So according, when I'm talking about the tourism, usually if I want to define it, it will come to your mind that when person is traveling from one place or from one country to another country. That's the meaning of the tourism. But sometimes the tourism, it can be domestic tourism. That's mean the people, they are going to travel and practice the tourism within the same country that's what we call it domestic tourism for example if i'm traveling let's say for example from paris to lyon both of them they are cities in france so maybe i want to spend two days in lyon so this we call it domestic tourism so this as well a tourism so in general according to unwto when they define the tourism they said when a person, I'm going to give you the simple definition before I come across this two definition that I have it on the first slide. To make it clear for you, tourism means when a person is traveling from one place to another place and stay more than 24 hours. That's what we call the tourism. So we have a person, he's going to travel from one place to another place and stay more than 24 hours. That's what we call it a tourism. So according to WTO in 1993, they give the definition of tourism. WTO means the World Tourism Organization. They define the tourism in 1993, they define the tourism encompasses the activity of person at the same time, when I'm going to practice the tourism, I need to practice several activities. So according to WTO, they said the tourism encompasses the activities of person traveling and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business and other purposes. So to make it clear, that's mean when we have a person is traveling from one place to another place, that's mean they are moving from their environment to another place, different environment, and suppose they stay more than 24 hours, but not more than a year. So if a person is staying in one place more than one year, so this person, we cannot call him a tourist and he's practicing tourism. Why? because he's staying more than one year. So suppose he stay not more than one consecutive year, usually for leisure or, for example, for leisure, that's mean for, to make uh, entertainment, for example, even 
for business when they attend, for example, a conference or a meeting and for other purposes. That means, for example, maybe they are going to practice uh, to attend a meeting, for example, to attend a conference, uh, to practice, for example, sport activities, uh, for example, for, uh, for partying, for example, attend an event. So all this, it's come under the activity that a person is going to practice outside their usual environment. As well, we have UNWTO defined tourist. So we have the first definition according to World Tourism Organization. It was here for the tourism, what the meaning of tourism in general, but as well, they define the tourist. Tourist mean the person who is practicing the tourism. So the tourist, usually they are, they define as people who travel to and stay in a place outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year. It's the same definition as the tourism, but here they are mentioning what the meaning of the tourist. They are mentioning that the tourist means the people who are, for example, practicing tourism. That means they are traveling in order, for example, to for leisure, as we mentioned, for the tourism, for business and other purposes, not related to the exercise of an activity from within the place visited. So here, now we have a clear understanding about the meaning of tourism according to World Tourism Organization. So as well, tourism, usually the tourism, involves international interaction and therefore government regulation. Several organizations, like as we mentioned, World Tourism Organization, they promote environmental protection at the same time. So they give the definition, the World Tourism Organization, the remission, okay, they define the tourism, but as well, the main mission of the World Tourism Organization is to promote environmental protection. That means to protect the place where the people they are going to practice the tourism in order to avoid the, the mass tourism, in order to avoid, for example, the pollution in some area, etc. As well, they promote tourism development how we can develop the tourism, culture and social aspect of tourism. So we are not going to talk more in details about the World Tourism Organization and their details because we have a lot of organization, they take care of the tourism, but World Tourism Organization is the main organization. So just what I want from these two slides to understand what the meaning of the tourism and what the meaning of the tourist. So what is the tourism in 21st century? Okay, so now the tourism is a dynamic involving consumer driving force and it's the world large industry. So if I want to make a comparison between the tourism and the hospitality sector, because the tourism and hospitality, they are both related to each other because I'm going to practice tourism, but at the same time, I'm going to use the accommodation where I'm going to stay. So the accommodation we can as well is a component of the tourism is one element of the tourism because I'm practicing tourism. So I'm going to use at the same time the hospitality that means the accommodation, which it will be the type of hospitality because the hospitality is more and tourism is more about services. So the tourism is a dynamic evolving consumer driving force and is the world large industry because a lot of country nowadays their economy based in the tourism and hospitality or collection of industry when all its interrelated components are placed under one umbrella. So here, if I want to discuss more about the tourism umbrella, as we see here, so the tourism sector can be divided into several sectors. So the tourism, it's not only when I'm traveling to the other place. So it's contained, it's contained several components of tourism, which it come under the umbrella of tourism as we see it here. So I'm going to explain it. So the tourism umbrella, 
include travel, of course, because I need to travel from one place to another place. So the traveling, it will be by using several types of transportation. I, it doesn't mean when I'm traveling, I'm going to use only the air or for example, I'm going to use the flight. Sometimes I can use, for example, my private car. Okay, that means I'm going to use a land transportation. So here, the first part of the tourism umbrella, we have the travel. That means either I'm traveling by air, by using the flight, or the flight, it could be commercial flight or private jet flight, etc. And as well, it includes the cruise. If I want to use the sea transportation, so the travel, it could be by the sea transportation. We have the rail as well, that's mean by the train, for example, by using the subway or by coach, that's mean as well is a type of land transportation, automobile and uh, automobile as well. So we have as well the second part of the tourism umbrella, it will be the lodging. Lodging means the accommodation. So of course, when I'm practicing the tourism, the tourism, they contain several parts. The first part, it will be the travel. That means the way of transport, okay, which mode of transportation I'm going to use. The second one, it will be the lodging. That means the accommodation. What type of accommodation I need to use. For example, it's not necessary when I'm saying accommodation, it will be related to the hotel because not all the tourists, they use the hotel. Some of them, they are going to book, for example, motels. They are going to use to book, for example, resort. They are going to use, for example, to book furnished apartment, etc. So the lodging means accommodation. It could be hotel, either five, four, three, two stars or motels, or as well, it's going to be resort. Resort usually they will be, for example, located at the sea, so we call it resort, or otherwise they can book, for example, furnished apartment. As well, we have a lot of type of lodging or type of accommodation. Like, for example, it could be as well, for example, like a chalet, or for example, like a bungalow. So all this, it's come under the, under the part of the lodging. As well, we have the third one, it will be assembly and event management so the assembly and the event management as well maybe i'm going as well to practice or to attend a type of events okay so it will be either meeting either convention exposition etc as well one other component of the tourism umbrella it will be restaurant of course the tourists when they want to practice tourism in any country they need to eat so, of course, if they want to eat, they are going to stay at a restaurant and manage its service. Like, for example, it's come like restaurant, okay, any type of restaurant. Sometimes we have fine dining restaurant. We have, for example, fast food, for example. We have some kiosk. We have traditional restaurant. So, any type of restaurant as well, the restaurant, it's come under the tourism umbrella. So, we have travel. We already explained it one part of the tourism umbrella we have lodging we have assembly and event management we have restaurant and managed service and we have recreation recreation means attraction it includes the attraction that's mean the main site or the main tourist site i'm going to visit it we call it attraction gaming as well parts and recreation so as well the tourist when he's going to practice the tourism in any country of course, as we mentioned, he's going to use a mode of transportation. He's going to use mode of accommodation or lodging. He's going to maybe attend some event. He's going to go to the restaurant or managed service. At the same time, he's going to have recreation. Recreation, it will include the attraction, the places that I'm going to visit. Okay, maybe I want to visit a tourist site or, for example, I want to... Uh, to visit a museum, for example. I want to visit, let's say, um, some parks as well, like water parks, for example. So all this, it's come under the recreation. So this, it will be the umbrella 
of tourism. So after the tourism umbrella, it's really important to understand the form of tourism. The form of tourism, we have two forms of tourism. We have international tourism and we have domestic tourism. International tourism can be, so I'm not going to, here we call it the form of tourism. So we have international tourism and we have domestic tourism. International tourism, it's divided into two, inbound and outbound tourism. So the international tourism first, when a person is leaving his own country and visit different country. Like for example, if you are traveling from Paris to London, this we call it international tourism. Why? Because I'm changing the country. I'm not staying in the same country and doing the tourism from one city to another city. So this one, we call it international tourism. So for the international tourism, we have inbound and outbound. Inbound means when I have a people that are coming to my country. Okay, this we call it inbound. Outbound means when the people, for example, if you are living in Paris and you want to visit London, so this one we call it outbound. That means I'm leaving my country, my origin. So Paris, it will be the origin. And I'm going to visit London. So this we call it outbound. Means I'm leaving my origin to visit the other one. But if I want to bring a tourist to London, for example, to France, so we call it inbound. As well, the domestic tourism, it will be different than international tourism means when the tourist they want to practice the tourism within the same country that's what we call it domestic tourism for example if i'm visiting if i want to go let's say from paris to marseille paris and marseille both of them they are located in france but if i'm living in paris and i want to visit marseille for example for let's say three days four days five days etc so this one we call it domestic tourism means i am practicing tourism within the same country 